What is up everybody? Okay, today we're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings Online Before the Shadow. And I'm just going to tell you this game, this DLC is not it. Liar! It's pretty good, but it's not it. It's not going to bring back very many people. I'm just telling you that right now. The reason why is because it's just it's just another Star experience. Come on, you guys. You played this game plenty of times before. It's just another way of doing that, just over again. Which actually, I kind of like that. To be honest, completely honest, I'm, I really, really like that. Actually. But then again, I really hate it. Uh, let, let, let me explain a bit. Okay, so first things first. It's a good expansion, but also it's kind of a bad expansion because I kind of actually prefer the original Star Experience better. Why? Well, you got classic locations like the Shire, Bree, uh, and uh, the, the other one that I can't even think of. Um, yeah, well, let's just go past that one. Anyways, you got those star experiences, and they are so much more fire than the Before the Shadow. Let me just tell you that. Before the Shadow is pretty cool and unique with like its uh, western undertones, but then a lot of the stuff feels the same as well. Uh, let me explain that. You've kind of got the barrel whites, you got the, which is, you have that barrel downs and breed. You have um, a lot of killing boars, deers, a lot of the stuff you normally do with star experiences. All that's in the DLC, and I feel like you can kind of almost just not buy the DLC because they're charging you 20 bucks and you can do all that stuff for free. Just kind of a different layout. The zones look amazing though, let me tell you that. They do look really good, but. Again, as somebody that's brand new to Lotro, uh, I think they're, they're better off starting the original zones because you're more familiar with those things. You have things from the movie like the Shire Bree, and somebody that's never played this game before most likely has probably played, the, uh, watched the movie, excuse me, watched the movie. And so therefore, it's better to just to start out on those original free-to-play zones because they have that a lot more classic and you get to start in the real epic storyline and uh, Cardolan you kind of get ported at the end over to Rivendell uh, and then you have like all these zones you've never been to and locations you're gonna have to go either fast travel to by playing paying a mithril coin or you're gonna have to go walk them all which is uh, not gonna be fun but let me explain, okay, one, reason number one, this, this uh, DLC isn't really going to save Lord of the Rings Online is, uh, let me, let's go to the website right now. Where the heck is my screen? Oh, there we go. There, I, I can figure out technology. I, I know how to do stuff somewhat. Okay, let's go to the store. Okay, number one. Go to... Why? Why are you charging a hundred dollars for a starter experience? What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. <laughs> Why? Let's see. What do you get in this? Uh, you get some before the shadow content, extra bank, shared bank storage. Oh, who cares about that? Extra character slot. Uh, if you're playing that many characters, why are you keeping them all? Might as well delete some or just play on a different server. You get to do the character slots for free. Ultimate expedition supplies, eh. Valiant armor, uh, eh. Just cosmetics, cosmetics. Um, okay, so $100 if you get the, the, the you know, the, the collector's edition. And it's only 20 bucks, which is what I got. If you just buy the original, the standard, because why? I mean, if you like the stuff, you're into that stuff. Great for you. Uh, that that's that's awesome. But I, I'm I I just got the standard edition because it's just a starter experience. Okay, number two. Let's look at this trailer. I'm gonna show you the trailer to the place. What's this guy doing on here? Oh man, what's he doing on here? Oh, that cringe man. No, I'm just kidding. I actually really like his videos and his content. Go watch his stuff, watch his Twitch. He's a really good content creator for this. All right, all right. See, looks a lot like uh, 
Dragian, which is it's close by that. Ooh, now we got Regian meets Barrel Sounds. I have yet to even try to find out where this dungeon is at. I played the whole DLC, haven't found the dungeon. Maybe it's the group instance. But yeah, uh, terrible trailer. Terrible. I mean, I've seen some of the Lord of the Rings online trailers, and they they are a lot better than this one. This was a terrible trailer. But I have to say, I still really, really love this game. Uh, this The people that are making the game, I'm pretty surprised they are still making the game. And actually, that makes me really happy because I enjoy. I've been playing this game since I was like I don't know, like thirteen, and now still playing it and kind of returning back to the game as a twenty-five-year-old uh, is really, really nice. And it's it's it has. I guess my brain has developed more to be able to understand MMO mechanics, and so now that I've been playing the game, it's a totally different experience. I enjoyed it a lot. I wish I had more friends that were playing it because. Uh, that's going to get us into the next topic, why Lord of Rings Online actually needs to get a re resurgent of people. Because before Shadow, that, that's just not it. I'm sorry. Um, we need a console port, and we need it faster than ever. Um, then we need a graphics overhaul. Uh, stop this. Delay content. Stop making content. No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Just... Focus on that. Go get some sponsors, get some ads, uh, get some proper advertisement for this game and kind of relaunch it. Uh, I'd say do like a whole new relaunch. Just think about a new relaunch would be amazing for this game. Uh, some new advertising, new marketing, great, great stuff for this game. Uh, because right now the, the player counts are dwindling, and especially now that World of Warcraft came out with the new expansion. Uh, I feel like it basically just stole the show from, completely stole the show from Lord of the Rings Online. And uh, all the people that were playing before the Shadow for like two days are like no longer doing that. They're like, oh, it was, it was great. My third biggest uh, peeve I have with uh, Lord of the Rings Online before the Shadow was you don't even get to level 32 with this DLC. I mean, they advertise it as it's 1 through level 32. And they drop the epic storylines at 28. And then they're like, hey, go level up in Lonelands or this other place to reach 32. And then come back. <laughs> Are you serious? A little bit missed in advertising, I just feel like. Now, all, overall, this, this uh, game, I do enjoy it a lot. I want to see it do the best that it can. And right now, I don't feel like it's at its best. So I'm hoping that later on, that in the future, um, SSG actually starts implementing th some things that I think players have been waiting a while now. And that's not just like more DLCs and more expansions. I'm sure people that want endgame stuff more like a really good end game that's no longer dwarf, uh, dwarf style storyline. Uh, they are probably more so looking for something brand new and fresh. But no, what I think it need, they need to do is completely go out of their way, stop making content, and refocus. Kind of be like, hey, what are we gonna do to actually get this game re back up and going? And it's amazing because I feel like this game has so much potential, way more than it's actually tapping into. Uh, this game has like the whole entire Lord of the Rings universe. <laughs> and I say universe because they have some second age stuff in the Black Book of Mordor, and then they have all the third age stuff that we're familiar with. You complete the whole entire storyline of all the movies, all the books. Uh, I think the really cool thing would be to do actually is they could go make a storyline of the Hobbit books and go and go back and play those they already have the zones so all they have to do is make like a quest pack of it you know then you could play the storyline of the hobbits i think that would be great because they did something similar with the black book of mordor when you go and do the last alliance so i think it's doing stuff like that more things that people already know finish out all the that content first um i don't know if they have the rights to that stuff still but if they do uh, go ahead go do that stuff right away but then you definitely need to just go talk to advertisers. I know Amazon canceled their MMO and maybe 
go reach out to them and be like, hey, we have a completely content-filled game. It's complete. All the stuff is there, and a lot of people have been sleeping on it. So for a lot of people, if they got a new graphics overhaul, if they got a console port, uh, they could definitely make it seem like it's a brand new game. Because a lot of people wouldn't even have known about this game in the first place. So a lot of people don't know about this game in the first place. Uh, the number one thing my friends always tell me is Lord of the Rings Online, uh, I would play it, but I don't have a gaming PC. I don't have a PC that I would feel comfortable being able to play a game on. And so I feel like a console port, no matter if you love or hate the idea of this game going to console, I think a console port would help it tremendously in player count. Tremendously. Uh, and you know what, surprises it or not, uh, the, the way I play Lord of the Rings Online, my preferred style is actually with a controller. So I have like key bindings that I'll set up, everything ready to go, and I play it with a controller completely, 100%. Now, today, I hope you guys really, really go out and start thinking what would make this game great. Please, please, I want to hear you down in the comments below. What do you think the game would make it be great? Let me hear you down below. See you later.